Today we're going to be covering black metal from the land of the ice and snow. This is Canadian. This is Canuck black metal. So after a month of horror film reviews, check that out. Bing. I want to get back to the black metal reviews. Uh, so my previous two black metal videos were about Australasia and Mexico, Central America. So I believe this next one will complement those two the most appropriately, this being Canada. So this is America's Hat. And how I think it works with Australia also is I see a lot of commonalities between both Australia and Canada. I think they have a lot in common at least. They both operate underneath the same constitutional monarchy. Uh, Canada got its independence in 1982, I believe, uh, pretty recent. Their capital is Ottawa, people tend to forget that. They're both ginormous size-wise, but don't have that big of populations. Uh, I think their uh, population density, like per square mile, is nearly identical. Australia has both states and territories, while Canada has territories and provinces. They are both traditional countries of immigration, along with the U.S., obviously, and they both take in a lot of immigrants from both the U.K. and China, which is dramatically changing the demographics in both countries. I think that's about all I know offhand. Um, Anyway, on to the metal. Pretty good. Have you seen this? White pineapple. I never saw it before. Anyway, much like Armored Angel deserved to mention in the Australian video, despite them never playing black metal, I believe the equivalent for Canada would be Razor. They definitely deserve a mention. Uh, check out their works. So on to the list. At number six, we're going to start with Conqueror with their album from 1998, War Cult Supremacy. Now this is what you think of when you hear Canadian black metal, that war metal sound. This really typifies that sound. So intense. Now, you could argue all these songs sound the same. They sound similar. Check it out. Number five, some more war metal. We have Blasphemy's album, Fallen Angel of Doom from 1990. Is this the OG war metal album? Uh, you could definitely make that argument. I adore this album. It is very intense and it, it kind of created the uh, mold for what you think of when you think of black metal. And this is way back, 1990. Check it out. Number four, we have 
Necronomicon. This is their demo, Blood Ritual from 1992. It's very influenced by death metal. This is a death black mixture. Uh, this is from Quebec, but I wouldn't say it influenced the later Quebecois black metal scene, which I'll cover a little bit. Uh, it really blossomed in the 2000s. But for the time being, check out this early Quebecois black metal. Number three, we have Megado with their demo from 1999, The Final War. Now, this band is from Toronto. In fact, it's the only band from Toronto on my list, despite I think Toronto holds like 20%, or at least the greater Toronto metro region holds 20% of the entire population of Canada. Uh, but it's the only band listened here. This is very catchy riffage, uh, thrash oriented. Check it out. The rights of death. We're almost done with the list. We're going back to BC, British Columbia here. Antichrist. Now this was recorded in 1994, but it didn't get an official release until about 10 years ago. While the sound on it is very pummeling war metal that you expect from Canada, the production is definitely more modern than what you would have got back in 1994. But despite this, I think it counts, therefore it's on my list at number two. Check it out. Yeah. Number one, I should have looked how to pronounce this band's name instead of just how I say it in my head. Well, I'm going to say Sorcerer de Glasses. The album is Snowland from 1998. I do believe it's been re-released, uh, re-recorded even, but I prefer this original version. This is my favorite of all the Quebecois black metal, regardless if it's early or later. In fact, there was a large black metal scene to this day from Quebec that started with bands like Sorcerer de Gloss back in the, the 90s here. Uh, I'll give you a list of my top six of modern black metal from Quebec. Big Bing. 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 In addition to that, you know what, check down in the list. I'll add another 10 A-tier modern Quebec black metal bands for you to check out. In the meantime, 
here's that Sorcerer de Gloss example from Snowland. <laughs> As for the bonus, the A tier, I also want to talk about, prior to that, the thrash metal scene that was popular in Canada. In the 80s, there was a lot of bands playing of, of high quality. Now, you know a lot of them, Annihilator, and Exciter, Sacrifice, and there, there were some little lower level ones that maybe Overthrow, Soothsayer, Treblinka, Aggression, uh, Damnation. And uh, if you're into more of the black and stuff, which obviously you are if you're watching this and you made it this far, I'm impressed. Uh, Witch's Hammer, uh, Slaughter. But I do believe you might want to check out Infernal Majesty. I add those to this list in my A tier. I think they're blackened enough. Check out None Shall Defy. This is an early one from 1987. <laughs> You also want to look at, for early black metal from Canada, A-tier stuff like... Bing. 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 sticking with me until the end. I hope I was able to turn you on to a few bands that you may have missed. If I missed anything, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I'm always looking for new stuff, whether it's stories, movies, music, anything. And I encourage you to do the same. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe. Share with your friends.